HGTV's brand of easy-to-digest television has turned the network into a pop culture phenomenon and transformed its hosts into stars. But will these famous faces still be fixing and flipping and listing properties when they're old and gray? Check out what these HGTV stars could look like in a few decades thanks to the power of FaceApp. Tarek El Moussa and his ex-wife Christina Anstead still work together on Flip or Flop, which has spawned a number of spin-offs. El Moussa has had it rough these past few years. Prior to his divorce, he fought and beat cancer twice. He might not be here today had an observant Flip or Flop viewer not noticed a large nodule on his thyroid and emailed in with her concerns. El Moussa told People, I knew that if a nurse took the time, energy, and effort to send an email from Texas to mention my neck, there was probably something wrong. Thankfully, he's now cancer free and will hopefully still be an HGTV fixture in 40 years' time, when he might look something like this. His ex's transformation, if you're curious, is a lot more subtle. Beauty comes and goes. Not with you, honey. Energetic designer David Bromstad has been an HGTV regular since winning the first season of Design Star in 2006, appearing on several of the network's shows over the years. Bromstad was actually about to move on from HGTV when the network offered him the chance to host My Lottery Dream Home, on which he advises lottery winners on real estate. He once told AOL that he's the granddaddy of HGTV. And thanks to FaceApp's age filter, we now know what the real granddaddy Bromstad could look like. Two words, Silver Fox. Jillian Harris was second runner-up on season 13 of The Bachelor and became the Bachelorette for the show's fifth season, gifting her final rose to Ed Swiderski. Sadly, their relationship ended in 2010 when she discovered that he had been cheating on her. It was a devastating experience for Harris, but she didn't let the ordeal turn her off the idea of TV work. The Canadian beauty went on to land gigs on Love It or List It Vancouver, Canada's Handyman Challenge, and Extreme Makeover Home Edition. Speaking of makeover, here's what Harris looks like given the face app treatment. She looks a bit like Academy Award-nominated actress and cable TV mainstay Mary McDonnell to us. Scott McGillivray is North America's go-to expert when it comes to all things real estate, according to HGTV. This contractor-turned-TV personality has fronted a number of shows for the network, most recently Buyer's Boot Camp with Scott McGillivray. His schedule keeps him super busy, but he's come to realize that he needs to slow down and enjoy life a little more now that he's in his 40s. He said in an interview with the network, I found that as I've gotten older and started a family, it's been tougher to find time to get together with my friends. When you work and travel as much as I do, it can be tough. Here's what Scott will look like with a few more decades of work and travel under his belt. Still handsome. Breakups are never easy, but HGTV star Orlando Soria took the collapse of his relationship extra hard. He told Vogue, My heart was ripped out of my chest, put into a blender, mixed with battery acid, and then put back into my chest. He channeled his heartache into decorating his new property, and when he realized that the process was helping him cope, he hatched an idea for a new show. As the host of HGTV hit Unspouse My House, Soria helps newly single homeowners renovate and start over. Here's what Soria just might look like after a few more decades on the job. Before she became the co-host of long-running home design show Love It or List It, renovator Hilary Farr dabbled in acting. She took up theater after a growth spurt meant that she had to put her dreams of becoming a ballet dancer to bed. The HGTV stalwart is now in her mid-60s but shows no signs of slowing down. What's her secret? She told The Balance Careers, Deep breathing. I'm addicted to it. It relaxes me and allows me to shut down so that I can have restful sleep. Here's a peek at what Farr might look like once she's retired from her HGTV hosting duties. Hilary Farr's Love It or List It co-host is more than a decade younger, yet people often mistake her and real estate agent David Visentine for a couple. The pair's chemistry is part of what makes the show so addictive to viewers. Visentine is in his mid-50s, and chances are he'll be around for a long time. He has good genes. He told W Network in 2014, My dad is very athletic and still plays soccer at the age of 79. I grew up knowing the value of taking care of myself physically to do the things I love to do. If you're curious about what Visentine will look like around that same age, FaceApp has you covered. You're both silent. You either don't believe me or you're stunned by my brilliance. Egypt Sherrod has been an HGTV star for well over a decade now. She landed a job on Property Virgins in 2007, shifting from dedicated fan to reality TV insider. She told Madame Noir, I've always been an HGTV fanatic. As a licensed real estate agent and someone who genuinely has a passion for the industry, I was truly drawn to watching Property Virgins, even with its former host. She went on to host Flipping Virgins, which she also executive produces. It's a high-pressure job that takes up lots of precious time, but this self-described 
mompreneur doesn't let the haters dictate her life. She told Hello Beautiful, I'm conscious of my weight and my appearance because I want to feel healthy and look good. However, I refuse to allow anyone to stress me out about vanity. Hopefully this peek at her not-too-distant future won't stress her out too much. Interior designer Genevieve Gorder rose to fame on TLC's Trading Spaces, the show that's often credited as the catalyst for home renovation TV. She's appeared in more than 20 different TV shows in her career to date. She's currently the co-host of Netflix's Stay Here, but she's still best known for her time on HGTV hosting Genevieve's Renovation, Dear Genevieve, and serving as a judge on Design Star. That's quite a few irons in the fire, but Gorder takes care of herself, telling Better that she lives a gluten and dairy-free lifestyle. Here's what Gorder just might might look like in her later years, perhaps as a retired HGTV Hall of Famer. Albuquerque native Chip Gaines hosted home improvement show Fixer Upper from 2013 through its final episode in 2018. The show turned Chip and his wife Joanna Gaines into household names, but it wasn't always as fun as they made it look, especially toward the end. He told Cowboys and Indians magazine, "...the more staged something becomes or the more required something becomes, it boxes me up, and I felt like toward the end of the Fixer Upper journey, I felt caged, trapped." The married couple decided to concentrate on building their very own multimedia platform, which would include a TV network. Here's how Chip might look after several more years working in TV. What a transformation! Joanna Gaines, meanwhile, has never really looked her age, and now the former TV host has revealed the secret of staying young — having children. She told People, "...if you ever want to feel young again, have a baby at 40. It's brought this whole new thing for me where I'm a lot more laid back." The couple has already used the Face Up age filter and shared the results on social media, including on their baby boy crew to hilarious results. Here's what Joanna looks like given a taste of her own medicine. Still stunning. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more Nicki Swift videos about your favorite stars are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.